Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Beth, and I recently finished reading Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. It's about 500 pages long and was published in 2018. Yeah, this novel is aggressively mediocre. Um, I don't think it's bad. I think, you know, it's an enjoyable little romp. You can read it relatively quickly if you're really into the story, but I find that um, the, the time in the novel is split between a multitude of characters. So you have the nine strangers, of course, but you also have Masha who leaves the house, uh, who leads the um, retreat house, so to speak, and then her underlings, which you get to see, uh, specifically Yao. And I just found that because it was so splintered, all the characters were really rather one-dimensional. Most of the novel is just getting to know the different characters. And once you get to know them, they're a bit flat. <laughs> I think in the end, it actually gets kind of interesting. All hell breaks loose. I wish all hell break, broke loose a lot sooner. Um, not just like the last hundred pages, but maybe, you know, a few hundred pages before that. It took me a long while to get through this book just because I was disinterested. I didn't feel really connected to any of the characters. Not that I didn't have anything in common with them, because I feel that you can read books and not have anything in common with them and enjoy them quite well. Um, but this book just didn't do it for me. I think that if you're looking for some way to, you know, improve your health or have a self-help book in a way, I think this book is actually very down on that. So if you read this thinking, oh, this might give me help and hope, this kind of totally, the whole industry, it disregards and treats it as frivolous. So even in that arena, it doesn't really do well. It doesn't give you ideas of how to boost your life, which I feel like it almost, if you look at this cover, you f it looks like a self-help book. It looks like something that's trying to help you be better and is giving you I would say advice. It's that kind of color scheme and the simplicity of it just... I know that there is actually a 2021 uh, Netflix series. Uh, there's one season, I believe. I have not watched it. Um, I literally just found out about it, so it must not be that popular. I got this book um, just at a random book fair used, so it was kind of just an interesting cover that I picked out, but it, it didn't live up to it for me. I think that it's not a waste of 25 cents. Obviously not. But I don't think it's worth the time. It, it might be, I would say, your bubblegum reading book. So something you're reading in between really heavy novels. It's just that, let's put it this way. If you read a fantasy novel, fantasy novels are usually about this length, correct? And it's splintered in a lot of different characters. M more than this book, typically, actually. But the characters are so rich, and the world is extremely rich. And usually the the author is able to really delve deep into it and kind of move past, like, ancillary, just... I would say, um, stereotypical items for different characters. And especially because this is based in the real world. You need a little bit more to your characters because you do not have to describe the world. And I feel that the author kind of took that for granted. Um, it couldn't, the author, Leanne, could not build upon what we already know collectively as a culture. She just almost tried to talk down to us like children. <laughs> You're writing in a way saying, this is how the world is. You probably don't know, but this is how it actually is. And I said to myself... I, I just don't need to be talked down to. And I think that the writing in itself, it, it's fine. It's not good. There wasn't one single passage I could point to and say, wow, that is beautiful. And it didn't, it didn't flow all that well. It just kind of felt like I was reading a magazine or the funny pages. It wasn't, it didn't feel like it was carrying a story of worth. I didn't think I gained anything from it. It didn't affect me in any way. I just felt, it just felt bland. I don't really know what else I can say other than that. I think that perhaps if it was written more introspectively, uh, if the author had more to say about the characters, because there's this main character, uh, Frances, and she's going, she's a very interesting character on, you know, on paper in a way. <laughs> 
in which she's a romance writer, so she always loves writing happy endings, and she just got romantically scammed. And she's a middle-aged woman, and she's going through menopause. So those that's a very interesting way to have your basic... She, she's basically the lead character. Those aren't things you usually see in novels as your lead. And yet, nothing came of it. She wasn't... She was even described in the book as shallow. So you have your main character being shallow and not experiencing much. And I feel like there was more to her. I feel that even if you are a generally happy person or haven't experienced too much trauma, there's still so much for you to say as a person. <laughs> so I'll be honest, this book, not a recommendation for me. I think that I can't even recommend something in its stead because it feels more like a soap opera. All I can say is stay clear of the book and I hope you had a good time watching my review.